These notes are on perfect square trinomials. So you've explored in class the patterns that we see um, for the equation x squared plus bx plus c. So this is standard form. where a equals 1. And you've also noticed the pattern, the relationship, that if it's a perfect square trinomial, then the c value equals the b value divided by two quantities squared. So now we're going to look at a couple examples. And I'm going to do these examples in two ways. I'm going to do these examples using the shortcut. But I'm also going to use, do the examples um, using algebra tiles, using sort of maybe a method you learned in class. So this first piece of information that I'm given is that I have an x squared tile. And I have six x tiles. Well, in order to make a square, I need to have the same number on this dimension as this dimension. So I'm going to have to split my six x's into three x's. So there's one, two, three x, x, and down here there's 1, 2, 3, x, x, and x. Now I need to find out what goes here in order to make this the shape of a square. So I can actually fill in this missing piece here by extending the lines from my x tiles, which gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 little 1 tiles, which means I can rewrite this now that I'm making it a perfect square trinomial into x squared plus 6x plus 9. My c equals 9. Now, the directions here ask me to write it not just as a perfect square trinomial, but also as a product of two factors. So we have here a rectangle, a per, a per, a, excuse me, a square. And so I can find, if this is the area of the square, I can represent that area as a length times a width. And so this length right here is x plus 3. And this length right here is also x plus 3, meaning I can write x squared plus 6x plus 9 as x plus 3 times x plus 3, which means I can write that in shorthand, simplified a little bit nicer as x plus 3 quantity squared. So this is the method that you may have explored in class. Um, some of you need to continue using this method each time, and that's totally fine. Um, others of you may be ready to move on to the shortcut, the pattern that we have seen each time. And the pattern says that I take my 6, I split it into two piles. So there's half of the 6, and there's the other half of the six. So I split it into two piles. And then in order to get the missing piece in here, I multiply my three times three. So I square my value that I get when I've split my pile into two pieces, into, when I've split my x's into two piles. So this equals three squared, which equals nine which yields the exact same answer as I got above. So depending upon where you're at, you could use the tile method or you could go straight to the pattern method. Let's look at a second example. And again, I'm gonna do the second example using both methods. So the first method involves the algebra tiles. So I'm gonna draw my lovely x squared tile. And then I'm going to draw my negative 16 x's split into two piles. Now, in this case, I really don't want to draw out eight x tiles. So I'm going to use a method that's sort of called generic rectangles. So I'm going to draw in 
these two rectangles, and I'm going to represent in here negative 8x and negative 8x. I've split my negative 16x into two piles, the negative 8x and the negative 8x. So now in order to find my c, this is where my c sits, um, I need to ask myself what dimension this is and what dimension this is. Well, this is 8 by 8, which means my c equals 64. So I now can write this picture as a area and as a length times a width. So my length is x minus 8. My width is x minus 8. So I can write that as x minus 8 times x minus 8 or as x minus 8 squared. And then I know that, that equals my entire area, which is x squared, adding these two or going back to the original problem, minus 16x plus my c, which is 64. Again, the other way to do this problem is to recognize that my c is going to be my b value split into two piles squared. My c value split into two piles squared. So my c is going to be negative 16 divided by 2 squared, which is negative 8 squared, which is 64. The third example we're going to do actually in this case has us kind of work the other way, which is that they give us our C value and we have to find our B value. So um, again, two different ways of doing this. The first, I'm going to draw in my, um, I'm going to draw in a, a large square and then I'm going to break this up a little bit here. Um, I'm going to have my X squared tile there. And in this case, they give me my C tile, so that's over here, C equals 36. Now you'll remember that in order to get this particular piece of my generic rectangle, I had to multiply a length times a width, and that those values had to be the same. I had to split my B value, my B X's into two equal piles, which means that the only way to get this length here is that it's a perfect square. So what times what equals 36, 6, and 6, which means that I have a length here of x plus 6 and a width here of x plus 6, which means I can fill this in. 6 times x is 6x. X. x times 6 is 6x. X. So I now know that my b equals 12. And again, I can write this as the product and as the area. Um, so now let's do it the other, using the other method. So the other method tells me that my C value is going to be my B split into two piles squared. In this case, I'm given my C value. So I have 36 equals B over 2 quantity squared. So I'm going to take the square root of both sides, which means that I have 6 equals B over 2. Multiply both sides by 2, I get 12 equals b. So exactly what I have up here. Now there's one caveat to all of this, which is that there are actually two numbers that get me 36 if I square them. So I have 6 squared equals 36, but so does negative 6 squared. So it turns out that I have two answers. I either have the answers where my sixes are both positive, or I have the answer where my sixes are both negative. And 
the reason for that is is a little bit complicated. Um, it has to do, uh, if I looked at my algebra, it would have to do with the fact that, um, again, um, 6 squared gets me 36, but so does negative 6 getting me 36. So two possible answers um, where either the 6 is positive or the 6s are negative.